go back in and and uh, and patch it back in. To start your show now. Since it appears you're calling back into a live show, we are reconnecting you now. Okay, back into business. Current access code, please re-enter your access code followed by access code accepted. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Back. This is Andrew Loha live out of Sedona, Arizona. The Spiritual Image Productions on Block Talk Radio and PreConferencing.com. And now Ustream, establishing and maintaining relationships with the human body. Tonight we're doing the Golden Age Paranormal Experience with Jamal, talking about the metaphysics of the unseen world. And also here uh, with us is uh, Marietta White, our uh, psychic medium, all the way out of New York. Um, so, anyhow, We've been talking about how Jamal grew up in um, in, also in Phoenix and also Maryland and uh, experienced uh, the visits or sightings of, of orbs 
if you don't know what an orb is, you, you, you can uh, go to uh, the internet and you can uh, look it up there and there's all kinds of information on orb. So, but anyhow, um, we've been talking, uh, he's, he's also talked about seeing UFOs and um, doing an experience, uh, experience called uh, with Sylvia, how, how you call Salva? Salvia. 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 So, and um, and when and when he did Salvia, he he states that he went into a, a different dimension and actually had experience uh, with an um, uh, an alien, a, a, an entity, a being um, that looked kind of like a combination of a snail um, and a dinosaur uh, uh, together. So anyhow, um, um, you know, we, we we've talked about a number of different things. We talked about orbs and and um, their uh, unique um, uh, presence uh, amongst people, and then um, and now now we're we're back with with um, with uh, Jamal and Jamal. <clears throat> I mean, first of all, if if people want uh, if people want to get hold of you and, and talk to you about some of these experiences, how do they get hold of you? Or where do they go to? Uh, tell us about your your YouTube channel as well. My, my YouTube channel, okay, you can just type in a cult pin, okay, that's O T U L T space S I N. The reason why I call it that is because the cult is hidden and then I see a lot of people being ridiculed really looking down upon for seeing the truth. A lot of people like the honor to shine, a lot of people like to be politically correct and out of sin. Um, it's not about offending anyone, but the truth sometimes is hard to know, right? So I call it a cult sin because I mean, the truth as a sin. It's a little hidden truth in uh, mind. But you can just go on YouTube that when I get on my videos. And all my social media is on there if you want to communicate with me. And all you can just Google is buy a cult sin. And you should see a uh, I want to talk about something with the unseen. I want to get into the unseen part of this discussion. What, what, what do you mean by unseen? What are you talking about? Go ahead. How about, how about everything that people can't see with the physical eye, but most of them are tied into ghosts. Yeah. I had experience in Montana with ghosts. I want to tie this in. <laughs> Did it freak you out? No, not at all. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Alright, so when I was in Montana, it's very interesting because this one guy, we had several roommates in the car, and one guy, he had a screen, it was like 3 in the morning. He was running up and down the hall while everyone else was sleeping in the room. And he was like, keep it away from me, keep it away from me. You know, panic, you're freaking out. And Ran to the bathroom, and then he ran all the way back to this one guy, I remember his name, the guy who uh, ran the man. Ran into the gate gun, and he started flipping on the lights, on and off. Then he sat on the empty bed and caught some PJs, and he was like, check the sheets, because this guy, by the way, he was freaking basically, his eyes were closed, he was like, check the sheets, check the sheets. The company was messing with his, his mind, basically. And then, I already knew that this guy had to be some type of no way in the world he's freaking out like that out of nowhere. <coughs> so basically, he snapped out of it. And he was like, oh man, I don't even know what was happening. And when that happened, I already know what I wanted to get ahead of this type of ghost around here. Because it's just nothing else. Nothing else could be explained for that. So a few days later, I was sleeping. And then out of nowhere, like, I thought someone was laying on me, like one of the roommates. I thought they were playing around, you know, really making people turn. I'm like, what the world? Why is this person laying on me? So I tried to open my eyes and tell them to get off me. And then, sure enough, I couldn't open my eyes. I couldn't move. And it was like three cars, but it wasn't so many two cars. Okay? Something was on me, and it was trying to get inside of my eyes, basically. Or more or less. I think it was trying to get inside of my dream. It just happens to feel like it's trying to get inside of my eyes. But when I couldn't move or even talk, I basically felt this thing going inside me, and I had to basically push it out. So basically, the only way you can work out is to use all your energy to lift weight. It's no different than that, except for a more spiritual thing than a physical thing. It doesn't feel like it's physically moving. 
but if you substantially you feel your presence is pushing something else out. And then after that, I woke up after about a minute, it took me like a minute, you know, and I was still or some type of spirit, let me call it that. But the reason why I didn't freak out is because that seems, you know, creepy to go to that when I was really young. It was just really <laughs> You're saying you're saying that that the the, the people the, these beings have always been there, but we just haven't seen them because we haven't had been able to have the capability to be able to have fair vision or whatever. Okay, true, exactly. In your day-to-day life, you cannot see them. What the what the visible the human eye sees. I'm talking about one. So let me give you an example. A dog can hear things we cannot. This is because animals. Have the ability to hear strong enough. You hear ultrasonic, right? So, you know, a dog was, I'm pretty sure everyone heard of that. You know, a dog was, so a dog will hear it, but she will not. So, what you have to understand is that is something that shouldn't be taken lightly. That information right there is that is completely bypassing you on your day to day life. Animals can hear it because humans can only hear from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Right? The animals can hear 60,000 hertz sometimes, the sky animals can hear beyond that. But that's ultrasonic. That just means you can't hear it, basically, you can't hear it. You can hear it. It's a human being. But what you also have to understand is that a lot of animals think, don't make noises, like giraffes. Many people don't want to dress far, but that's why, the reason why is because they make noise on an infrasonic. Meaning they make it below 20 hertz. 
This means they're communicating and they're making noises all the time, and it could be very loud noise. Some animals that communicate on this frequency make noises that can be heard miles away to other animals, but you can't hear it as a human. So, right. it's also called the light. So there's things that are, there are certain light waves that you can't see, but they're there. If you ever use a black light or a bunch of violet light, you can use it to find blood on a crime scene, you know, a lot of police, uh, detectives, the forensic, they use this. And sure enough, it's on the floor, but you don't see it until they shine a light on it that allows you to see. Because the human eye can't naturally see ultraviolet light on its own. Now, this is also very important because yeah, I want to talk about the sun. I want to make a perfect example for everyone that really needs to start researching about light waves now. And this is what you're missing out. All people looking for ghosts, looking for your ghosts. If you learn about light waves and sound waves, I'm pretty sure your, your uh, search is going to be alive. So when the sun rises in the morning, you ever seen on the sun is orange or yellowy color when the sun rises or sets? Yeah, exactly. And okay. purple, purple yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, purple too. <coughs> but during the daytime, when the sun is high up, the sky looks blue. Okay. Now this is important because you have to understand that the sky isn't making these colors; it's the sun. The sun reflecting off the sky at a certain angle. Now, when you understand that, you can understand that the sun is every color. This is why when the sun rises or sets, the sun is orange, because there's orange light inside the sun, but when it's overhead of you, the sky looks blue, because there's also blue light in the sun. And there's also, in fact, the, 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 the highest color in the sun is green, around 540 nanometers. So the sun is green, the sun is purple. Sun is orange, red, all the time. What about what about psychedelic? Is it psychedelic? No, yeah, basically like how all the colors, high dye, you know, all the colors. I'm just kidding. No, 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 seriously, no. That's actually a good reference because it has to be psychedelic. Okay. Because when you see the psychedelic, you may know that they heighten your senses. I'm talking about the crap. I'm talking about LSD. Exactly. The <laughs> The chlorophyll that 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 uh that they enters them. Or that or that, they, that they love. Okay. Go ahead. The point I'm trying to make here is that now you can kinda of understand that the sun has colors that you can't see on a day to day basis glance at the sun. That's what they're talking about. Right. You're saying that, that the, the sun reflects um, uh, according to the chemicals and the different types of, 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 um, of what are the angles? In this, in this case, it's the angles. Okay, well, okay, angles. But are, are, you, are you saying that, that, that chemicals are, don't make a difference as well? That different types of, of makeup of, of uh, elements or whatever, that doesn't make a difference either? No, that can make a difference. That's why certain movies or certain like, gyms, they are certain parts. They have certain elements. Got it. Okay. But the thing is, the angle when it comes to the sunlight like reflecting off the atmosphere matters rather than the fact that it's blue or orange. You may notice when the sun sets or rises, from your point of view, it's either going to be all the most on the way from you, or it's going to be perfectly horizontal. When it sets that angle, all of the long light waves, which would be the orange and the, and the red, they both can go through. The atmosphere, and then you can see them. But when the, when the sun is high above, those uh, on the light waves they get absorbed. So only the shorter light waves, being blue, passes through. 
this is why I don't want to say I'm I'm blue. But if you know in the sunset, then you look out to the stars and it's all black out there in our space. Basically, that's the color I see. But let me give you an example about how a specific world is deeper than the city and you have to be really analyzed. All this light and light is found. Okay, this is all energy, this is all vibration. Okay? So, when you use ultrasound on a pregnant woman, you can see an image of a baby. Because, like I said, sound is light and light is sound. There will be no other way. Okay? It also means that to our eyes, on a day to day life, you aren't seeing trillions of colors. There's trillions of colors in this universe that we as human beings cannot see. And things that are so different waveforms, Wi Fi, television broadcasts, radio, sound waves, okay? <coughs> All this stuff, X ray, you can't see those things. They're there. Other animals sometimes can see them. Same with animals. But you can't. But I hate to think about that as well. I'm just trying to make you think right here. I'm not encouraging anyone to do it or not do it. I just want to make an example. When you take certain plants, and say, I'm not going to name it here, when you take certain plants, it increases temporarily the amount of light waves you can see. And if you ever heard of anyone who had a psychedelic experience, they say sometimes they can see the sound, they can see music, they can see waves, and that's because you literally can see the waves. It has boosted your brain temporarily to see on that spectrum. You don't just imagine this, you have your eyes and see it. Now you have the ability to see an infrasonic, multisonic, infrasound, and ultrasonic sound. And now you're saying yes, this that this is due to an altering of of chemicals or, or yes. what are you talking about? In this case, in this case, it would be the chemicals of the brain that increase in um DMT and all the other chemicals that come from the pineal gland or pineal gland or canarium, whatever you want to call it, the third eye, all the same thing. Okay. And this is also why we dream. You see such weird things. Sometimes when you dream, you're going to different places. You need to understand, need to understand that. When you dream, you're not just, the brain doesn't have any bulletins or TV screens inside of it. So when you're seeing images, what, what do you think you're seeing? <laughs> you're in a different land seeing stuff. You don't need your physical eyes to see things. The body's just temporary, like I said. Your spirit is in, which is also your mind, by the way. Mind and soul are the same thing. Okay? People just kind of split them up now, but they're the same thing. Your spirit or your mind is going through the ground, doing what it wants to do, or experiencing what it wants to do. It's time to what that ground is doing, which is going to be a different thing. Without your eyes, you know. Got it, got it. So, um, uh, Marietta, what do you think about any of this? Well, the only thing I'm thinking about is I was just reading, and I think it was in Time Magazine, and they were talking about how uh, the human body has, like, X number of DNA and all that, that were saying that only about one, one fourth of it is activated. So I'm wondering if that doesn't activate them for a short period of time, a certain part of that. Well, and they don't know why we don't. It's nothing works. You know, they, they call it junk DNA, and it's not. It's actually got some purpose. We just don't know how to use it. If you think your body is not junk, that's that what the psychiatrist is wanting. This is really trying to analyze things they don't understand. This is why they can call it junk, or they just don't meet the full picture. No matter how many senses or charts or technology, anything they have, they're not going to understand. And if they do, sometimes they're not going to share it with you. Everyone should know that scientists and certain companies aren't sharing certain things with you. It's just the way it is. Okay, there's no conspiracy about that. That's just a fact. I hope everyone can say that at least right now. But the thing is, like the human body, you can take around with the car, a 
Christmas girl that story about pregnant. Uh, I don't know if she was pregnant or not, but she had a baby, and it was like trapped on her car, and she lifted it up, and got the baby out. Because her body now went to survival mode, and it popped into that hidden power. But it's like a candle. Have you ever heard the quote, a candle that burns brightly you only lasts a short amount of time? It's almost like that. It's almost like you have those powers, but you just can't access them all the time unless you just, you're conscious that you a lot of people are self-conscious. I call it main conscious, because that's a bigger thing. You never call the bigger thing the sub. Sub is under. Okay? So the main conscious will kick in and give you that extra energy. Because it's always there, you just don't utilize it. Why some people who meditate, they see things, they hear things that they don't normally hear because now you are trying to get to that. It's always there. So now, um, Jamal, let me ask you this. Do you have any books out or anything like that yet? Uh, no, no, I don't have a book out. <laughs> I've been working on one. A lot of people tell me I should write a book. <laughs> no, I hear, I hear you. I, um, I've been working on, um, the 90 day ascension journey, um, for the last few days and, I got about a third of it done, and hopefully I'll have it done by next weekend. But um, I, I, I don't, uh, I, I, I don't know. You could, you could probably take all the YouTube videos you have and put them together, and then, and um, if you can, uh, um, what you call it, uh, when you make everything to text, um, you, you can um, um, get everything into text and then and you can probably do your book out of that just putting all that stuff together is my guess that's what I'm thinking yeah. I, I, I know I can there's a lot of problems I talk about like I'm just trying to stay um, stay a little bit more organized because in my videos I just talk about everything in the show and I yeah. do make certain individual videos when I do live chat that's how I am got it got but, it um, I when I was talking about earlier when I introduced myself now Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they're right next to each other. But if you look at those two states and you take away some of their letters, inside of it is a recorded message that says Virgin Mary. Because the first six letters in Virginia is Virgin, and the first four letters in Maryland is Mary. And they're right next to each other, connected. So you have Virgin Mary hidden inside of those two states right there. Oh, interesting. Now, Have you ever heard of a book called uh, Subliminal Seduction? Um, not that I want to take a look at Well, in, in, uh, there's, there's a book um, years ago that I read, and it talked about how they use symbology and, um, and all kinds of stuff 
uh, subliminal messages that they implant or in, uh, in, uh, integrate or install or um, put in into the covers of magazines. Um, literally, magazines spend, spend hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars on the front cover on uh, on the front cover alone. Period. And that's why because the the, the messages are, are geared to to attract and magnetize people to buy those magazines and whatever else. Who knows what else the, their intentions are? Uh, like, like Playboy or even Cosmopolitan or GQ or whatever. Um, all those magazines literally they 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 spend thousands and thousands, uh, some millions of dollars on the, just the front cover alone, just just, just for that purpose, so that they, it will magnetize, it will it will attract people to buying those magazines, and and yeah. who knows, brainwash them too, or, or whatever else. They want to condition them and program them to be. That's the same reason why they spend millions of dollars on these very seconds uh, Super Bowl ads. Oh yeah, absolutely. Super Bowl. I just talked about this other day. The Super Bowl is a stadium, and if you look at the stadium, it comes from a coliseum up in Rome, and that's why the Super Bowl used to use the Roman numbers. And then, if you look at it, the halftime show back in Rome is called the halftime show, where they would have uh, certain tortures, where they would see what animal would kill what servant uh, bird, and the people in the audience would bet on it. The Super Bowl actually comes from that. Not the sport of football, but the Super Bowl and the reason why you look at a picture of a stadium, you look at a picture of a car stadium, you look at a chemical, because that's where it's coming from. There's a lot of stuff that you know, goes over people's head. Got it, got it. Yeah, and Mary, what, what do you understand about seductions and subliminal messages and so forth? Well, the first thing that came to my mind is that uh, you know, all of Washington, D.C. was designed around symbols that were indigenous to the Masonic. Mm -hmm. Oh, got it, got it. But so what? I don't know that I'm just starting to remove some of those symbols now, but it's that's been on there forever mm -hmm. on that symbol, and it's, and it's hidden in all kinds of things. The Pentagon building is mm -hmm. another symbol. And we're all surrounded by them. Well, you, we went to the uh, Washington Monument. Go ahead. Uh, we went to the Washington Monument, and look, if you ever been inside of the Washington Monument, don't you know that it's inside of it? <clears throat> there is a picture of George Washington, and he's in a soul disc. Okay, a soul disc. And if you ask me, the soul disc really comes from teaching. The one thing I know about the Masons is that they got a lot of their teaching from the Moorish and because a lot of the people came from Egypt. And that's why if you go to uh, the Vatican, uh, Paris, just to the, uh, even New York, I forget where in New York, but they have these things that look like what the, the Washington Monument is based off of. Those are called, those are called Tekken. And then the culture of Egypt, or Ken, the real name, uh, translation in Egypt, was a society, of course, I didn't ask that. I just want to, I have to say with so many people where that is. Now we, we only got a, we only got a few minutes left, and um, one of the things I want to uh, go over real quick is um, have have you have you ever looked at my website or looked at spiritualimageproductions.com? I'm going earlier. Yeah, yeah, you didn't you, you didn't notice uh, that 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 whole website is is filled with subliminal messages. Literally, I I've taken affirmations, positive affirmations. And I I put them in the backs of pictures or backs of the the background. I've taken um, the what you call the Sarva Dharma 
symbol which has to do with right action, right time, right, right relationships, truth, love, and, and nonviolence, uh, and put them in the back of pictures. Uh, I, I've done uh, lots of uh, subliminal stuff like that on my website, and um, I don't know that 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 makes a difference for people or not. I think that that uh, uh, it does in the long run. It, that people do experience maybe uh, maybe their day being a little just a little bit better than before, uh, if if if, uh, if if not a, a great day, if anything else, just by by going onto my website and checking it out, and not to mention you know the shows that I do. So um, I, I, we've got about two minutes left, um, uh, Jamal. I, I want to thank you for coming here and sharing with us. Is there anything uh, that, that you want to tell us about, anything you got going on right now, or anything that you want to put out there uh, uh, that, that we haven't talked about yet? Well, I just want to tell you how to make crafts this year. Right? I you already have to do this in like five minutes. Okay. I want you to, on a day where there's like a, no rain and stuff, but there's clouds out, the clouds that are like the white fluffy clouds that are separated from each other, I want you to take a group of clouds that are close enough to far enough where you can see the individual cloud. And I want you to focus on one particular cloud and just recite the words, the power invested in me, I want you to dissipate or disappear. You do that for about five minutes and truly believe that the cloud is going to vanish, and I guarantee you that only that one particular cloud will disappear. <laughs> Uh, well, we'll that, we call it cloud busting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I do. Cloud busting. Um, another thing you can do is look in the mirror um, for a long time into your eyes and just, you know, be calm. And then after a while, you're going to start looking like a different creature. You want to recognize yourself. And from a, from and other uh, from other lifetimes and so forth. Is that what you're saying? Well, not a lifetime. You're going to start to look like. You're going to start questioning what is a human, and it's going to make you feel like a type of weight. <laughs> well, well it, it, it helps if you uh, light a candle and, and you do, like, look into the mirror and, and it's kind of kind of dark or whatever and, and light a candle, and then and start looking at, at yourself and looking at yourself in, the, in, the, uh, in your eyes, straight into your eyes, gazing into your eyes, and then allow the, the energy to flow through, and then you literally will, you'll see other, uh, yourself from other lifetimes as well. Yeah. It's very interesting because I usually do it on a, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the brightest room and 1 being the darkest room. I do it on either a 2 or, or a 3 when it comes to getting mm. it. 19 or a 15. Alright. And that, that, Marietta, thank you for being here as well. You, you got any, any say so on any of that? Real quick. No, nothing I suppose the good show is interested in. I do want to make one correction. Uh, I'm no longer using the Love and Light Living site. I'm married a white psychic back up. Okay, okay, good, thanks. And uh, and Jamal, uh, look up Occult Sin and they can find your YouTube video, uh, your channel. Yeah, for 60 seconds. Okay, got it, got it. I want to thank all of you for being here. Um, and, 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 and just, just enjoy the, 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 the weekend, the, uh, the Valentine, happy Valentine's, uh, blessed Valentine's to all, all of you for this weekend. Uh, just be the lover that you are and always have been and always will be. Be the love that you are and always have been and always will be. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha.